All right, well, hello. Uh, how's everyone doing? So I guess as everyone knows by now, I have officially uh, quit my job yesterday. It was my last day at their bank. I've been with the bank a little bit over 12 and a half years, and I've decided to completely, um, you know, um, change directions, <laughs> so to speak. Um, I'm going to go work for a nonprofit. I think everybody knows this by now. It's Cincinnati Works. It's actually where my wife works at. And if you don't know what they are, basically, uh, they're not a social service. And they're a privately run organization. But what they do is that they, um, and my wife actually yesterday was her 17th anniversary. So kudos to my wife for making it 17 years. Awesome. She's had two jobs her entire life. Um, me, not so much. But anyway, so. What Cincinnati Works does is that they are a poverty to works type of organization and they, they take people who are at or near the poverty line and they um, try to get them into uh, full paying jobs that have, have benefits so they can learn how to become self-sufficient and eventually get themselves out of poverty. And actually my wife actually works, they partner with some other organizations as well and where my wife's going to be uh, partnering with, they, they're going to be also working with veterans here pretty soon. And so even though that... Um, I'm not directly working with anybody. I, I'm actually going to be like a business analyst for the for organization. It's a, it's, a, it's a new type of position, and I'm um, really looking forward to it. Um, you know, I'm hoping that I'll be able to have a chance to maybe do some peer mentoring to the vendors and do some other kind of stuff. So it's really kind of a cool. I'm very, very excited about this opportunity. I've known the organization for a very long time. And my, like I said, my wife's worked there for, for a long time. I know the founders. And I've often thought about doing this on and off for the last few years. But the um, the situations never kind of presented themselves the right kind of way. And, 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 and the, the pay cut that I would have had to take would have, would have been a little bit too difficult for us to absorb. And I am, even though I am actually taking a pay cut now, it's something I feel like that we can, can go ahead and, and, and afford. And, um, and I'm really <laughs> looking forward to, to working with the organization. It's funny, though. I mean, you know, it just means this new life that I'm going, this dream journey that I'm taking here, just means that I have to be a little bit more anal about our finances. Because, honestly, the last few years, we just wasted money. You know, we just, if we wanted something, we just got it. Um, and... Um, it's funny, like today I actually haven't, <laughs> so to kind of segue a little bit to, but to that, the thing I, leaving Fifth Third, the, 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 what I did not expect was the outpouring of support that I got from my team members and um, some other people, my coworkers that I work with for a long time. And um, that, that was difficult to kind of to deal with. And I had some people giving me, you know, some gifts and, and some gift cards and things like that. So, you know, it's it, it's funny because, and I'm very very appreciative of all that stuff. But, you know, a few months ago, I wouldn't have thought nothing about just spending money and just getting whatever I want. And now, even though that I have this extra money, re really, right now, you know, this extra money that I can do anything I want with, I found myself like, mm, do I really want this? Do I really need this? So now all of a sudden I'm questioning everything, you know, I, I've got these funds and, and now, you know, so <laughs> it's just funny how, you know, just things just kind of, I should have been how I've been thinking all along and I just wasn't and, and I regret that a lot, but hindsight's twenty twenty, you know, so um, anyway. Uh, it's my birthday today, so I'm making myself a pineapple upside down cake, and I'm going to make some ribs for tonight. Um, in case you're wondering, you know why pineapple upside down cake tastes so delicious? You melt a, a stick of butter, and then you put a pound of tightly packed brown sugar and sprinkle it onto it. So it's, it's the pineapple upside down cake is filled with love. Lots and lots of love. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm going on. Been going on. In case you're wondering why I'm kind of vlogging right now, because I really haven't been vlogging a whole lot here lately. It's because I don't know for for a while now. I just haven't because of the work, because of other stuff. I just I wasn't myself, and I, I really actually didn't like the person I was being. I was kind of down and negative all the time, and um, so I just didn't vlog. I just didn't do anything. And and even in the last couple months, I've kind of felt a lot different. Because I think in my head, I, I had already made the decision that one way or another I was going to move on, either within the bank or outside the bank. Um, so anyway, I, I, 
I'm going to try to start vlogging again because I'm really excited about what I'm doing. And it scares me. I have no idea what the future is going to hold. You know, this is a huge departure. You know, even though that I'm doing with still business analyst, I'm. It's a whole new type of organization, a whole new culture. It's everything. It's just. It's totally different. But um, I've kind of always marched the beat of my own drum. Kind of did my thing the way I, I felt that, that it was. I needed to do. I've kind of always kind of follow my heart and and to be honest with you you know i i am a person of faith i don't always kind of outwardly convey it because i, I do question a lot of things and, and i do have a, a number of questions and um but like everything that just everything just fell into place I mean, and, and I don't believe, you know, and I'm not the kind of person that believes, see signs in every little thing, like, but after a while, you, you, you get so many kind of coincidences, for lack of a better word, and I don't think that they're coincidences, you get so many things that kind of line up, and you got to say to yourself, you know, maybe this is meant to be, and I do believe that it's meant to be. Um, anyway, this is all I'm going to do for today, because I'm just kind of chilling out, I'm just enjoying my day. I'm decompressing. I'm just going to have a little bit of fun. So I'm just going to encode this and upload it and um, have dinner with the family tonight and just kind of chill out. So anyway, uh, here's the Heath. Probably by this point in time, it's probably like about 6.0, I guess. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.